the guy. Hello. Um, we are so excited actually to um, host your um, upcoming exhibition. Hopefully um, in 2019. The way the way I actually started as an artist was quite an unusual process because at school I didn't like art at all. Mm. Um, I didn't. I felt really ham-fisted. I just didn't know how to do it. And then um, I decided to go to university and to do a, um, a politics degree. Mm -hmm. And whilst I was doing um, that master's, I suddenly just um, became an artist. It was really extraordinary. My friend that I was with, he wanted to be a poet. Mm -hmm. And at the time I was writing some poetry. And at the time he was an artist. And we, we kind of swapped yeah. somehow. That's really interesting. <laughs> it was the weirdest thing. So at the age of 20, mm -hmm. I really started to love art. Mm -hmm. And I went to Italy and I learned a little bit about the history of art. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't like intentional. It was just that I saw some stuff that oh, it was wonderful. I loved it. And that love, that passion mm -hmm. um, started to drive me. And I just started to draw, like an outsider, just drawing and loving it and drawing any materials. I didn't yeah. know how to use anything. I just sat on the floor in my sitting room, drawing, drawing, just drawing, exploring. just exploring and yeah. loving pen and colour and crayon. Yeah. And then slowly it started to become like I had a lot of stuff all of a sudden. And then I thought, oh, perhaps I should get educated mm -hmm. with this. And also I didn't know how to draw. So I literally couldn't draw anything. I had to teach myself. <laughs> oh, that's really interesting. And uh, uh, I was teaching, I bought all the books, how mm -hmm. to draw this, how to draw that, yeah. copying everything. And then I went to do a foundation course and I learned a little bit more, learned what I really hate doing and mm -hmm. what I love doing. And then I applied for a college, mm -hmm. art college. Um, and I brought along my work and I just brought everything. Mm -hmm. Here, you want me, you're gonna have me. And they went, yeah, okay. I decided as an artist that I needed to, to have focus so that I also decided that the visionary side of my uh, personality, the clairvoyant side, if you like, that I wanted to express that. It's very frightening uh, to do that, but I decided to go ahead and uh, because I see these flashes of light around people, I see all these energies and, and all of this and I started to really um, want to understand it in paint. Mm -hmm. And so these paintings are very much about, I mean firstly they're all about celebrities yeah. and firstly because celebrity I think is somebody who hopefully is interesting. Mm -hmm. that perhaps it's more interesting than just doing, you know, the guy in the shop next door or, <laughs> you know, who's he? Yeah. Um, whereas instead you've got, you know, Bob Dylan, Tracy Emin, Stephen Hawking, yeah. you've got big names across mm -hmm. the world. Sometimes they're known, sometimes they're not. Mm -hmm. Also, I discovered that these people, they have a lot of energy. They need to create a lot of mm -hmm. energy because of their work because of the people perhaps that they are. Yeah. And that's very helpful because somebody who's just working and just not not really exploring um, yeah. their, the full vitality of their life. So that, that helped me as well. And then the, 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 I call it the aura pure because mm -hmm. it's more than just the aura, like a vibe, like mm -hmm. oh, somebody's aura, somebody's experience because the aura is the aura pure. This this little bit of energy here mm -hmm. will mean something. Like if I spoke to Bob Dylan, he perhaps wouldn't know. Oh, I I know what this means. But when I do it on myself, I can read. I go, oh yeah, I know. I get what that what that means. And so what's really weird about when I do them is that suddenly something might emerge. Mm -hmm. So what I noticed in this one was there's this kind of child yeah. here, and I didn't draw that in. I didn't, it just emerged from it. Yeah. Maybe he would understand why he has a child 
sitting inside of his energies. Mm -hmm. It might make sense. And um, so the intention is that that they're very descriptive, mm -hmm. that, 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 that they help you start to question, yeah. is everything up here? Or as a friend of mine recently said, my meat, my meat computer, mm -hmm. like what a horrible idea that you just have a computer of meat in your head. Yeah. Is it all here? Is that all we are? Or is actually our memory and our feelings, our emotions, and something else mm -hmm. held as an energy around us. Yeah, well actually what happens is I don't choose the colours at all. What I choose is I choose the background. Mm -hmm. So earlier work, like um, the Kylie Minogue in the background there, yeah. I had to work, you, you wouldn't think it because it's just black, Mm -hmm. But I had to work extremely hard on the background. Yeah. Her energy, I just, it's, it's, it's clear to me. Mm -hmm. It's obvious. I just pick it up, um, both intuitively and through seeing it. Mm -hmm. It would just appear. Well, the source um, is, is very much a, a sort of... from your yeah. gut yeah. <laughs> um, and, 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 and a sort of an energetic source that in a way is the same source as when you try and make a decision about something you go to your intuition mm. you say what shall I do and you ask yourself and somehow an answer appears that's, that's a sort of mm. in a way etheric divine source um, inspiration and um, the uh, influence of yeah. my work is very much from um, the real world. Um, I love um, I love all art, mm -hmm. but um, I love currently um, uh, Gustav Klimt. Mm -hmm. um, there's a Japanese artist called Murakami yeah. who I really love. Um, I take little bits from all kinds of artists mm -hmm. um, around the world. I was just at the pyramids mm -hmm. and um, in Egypt, and I was stunned by how uh, you have these four and a half thousand year old yeah. pieces of conceptual art. I often start with um, with with the print of the person because I don't want to fight with their image, their yeah. portrait. It's mm. hard enough having a photo that looks like someone. You know like when you take photos of yourself yeah. and you're like, oh my god, do I look like that? Yeah. It's just as hard with people who are very well known to get photos of them yeah. looking like they're supposed to look. Yeah. And <clears throat> so I don't want to, I don't want people to be going, if I paint, I could paint the mm. portrait. And then people to go, oh, it doesn't really look like... I, that's what I yeah. want to avoid. So, so I use print. And then with the print, I work with the print in order to build it up into something that's really interesting mm -hmm. as a piece of um, contemporary mm -hmm. art uh, his, that, that, that it references art yeah. history. And in terms of the actual materials, it's all oil on canvas or mm -hmm. wood. Um, I overlay with different canvases sometimes. It yeah. depends what the actual aura pure needs. Mm. Sometimes it's um, just, and the painting mm. overall to, to, to look its best. Mm. I don't finish a painting until I feel it's breathing. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, thank you very much. Um, thank you very much. And we are so excited to uh, see you um, in Oman. In gallery sign of course. Yeah, wow. Thank you. Thank you.